So I thought I was pretty internet savvy, but the pool challenged a take five to stop fraud expert to watch me and my mum for the day. And it turns out that if you're a little bit busy or a bit distracted, or if like mum, you're not especially confident when it comes to technology, it can be pretty easy to get scammed. Hello. Hi, I'm joining. How are you? Oh, I'm good, thanks. How's it going? So Denise, it looks like you're really busy. This is a busy time for you when you're going out yeah, to work, I guess. To get is it? Out. Busy yeah. mornings. It's the perfect time of day for what we call vishing. And this is the, the type of scam where someone uh, contacts you over the phone and tries to yeah. get you to give away information or to do something under under pressure. But I never like those sort of phone calls because I don't feel confident mm -hmm. that it is who they're saying they are and I'm a bit too polite as well. Oh, that's what we're like, so, isn't it? This <clears throat> is what we're like. You know, they keep going on. Yeah, that's right. So, and that's, that's what they do. They put you under yeah. pressure to say, um, you know, yeah, something's okay. happened to your account maybe or something along those lines. Yeah. And try and get you to do something under pressure. Yeah. Like that sort of situation, no bank is ever going to ask you to move money to a safe account. They'll never no. ask you to give them your full password or a PIN number over the phone. So if you get anything like that, you know, straight away that it's a scam. Just yeah. put the phone down and then call your bank back on a number yeah. that you know and sort it out from there. Mm. Yeah, that's good advice. Yeah. So Zoe, it looks like you're really busy first thing in the morning. Do you? Mm, I yeah. bet you get bombarded with emails even though you're trying to get through deadlines. Is that, is that how, how it works for you? Yeah, definitely. Like Mornings are our busiest time, um, but I get so many emails that I sort of just seem to flip between what I'm writing or editing. Mm -hmm and go straight onto the email because it, it annoys me. I know exactly what you mean, but fraudsters, they know people are busy first thing in the morning trying to get things out of the way. So this is the time when they you might get a phishing email, which is where a fraudster's trying to um, maybe get you to click on a link. It might look genuine, yeah. um, it often isn't. So anything unusual at all, even if it looks like somebody you normally deal with, just stop and think before you do anything. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it makes sense. I think I probably should take my time a little bit more. What if the email actually looks official and looks genuine? Yeah, it's quite difficult because often yeah. they do look um, as though they've come from the, um, the right organisation. Yeah. So if you put the mouse over the email address and hover over it, you'll be able to see the email address and see whether it is genuine. Because often they yeah. have something that looks very similar to the uh, correct email address, but it might be just one digit or one... Uh, letter different from the from, from the original the so, genuine yeah one. so there might be other clues like it says dear customer and where it would normally give your name yes. um, or yeah. it might um, have misspellings in it um, those types of things and if you're at all uncertain don't click any links or no. go any further into it just delete the email chop 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating <laughs> oh yeah that's when I got that text so actually, that wasn't that wasn't an email. I wasn't checking my emails then. That was a text that came through. Mm. So what's going on there? Well, unfortunately, um, fraudsters also use text to try and dupe you into giving away your information as well. So it, it's a technique called smishing. Um, so uh, it's just it's like getting an email smishing. Uh, smishing, yes, SMS. <laughs> smishing. Um, so it's uh, it's just another way of a fraudster trying to pressurise you into giving away information. That's when I was looking for birthday presents. And so, did you buy me something nice? Oh, of course I did. <laughs> it's a special <laughs> birthday. Okay, so yeah. um, which um, website links did you click on? Um, I just sort of started at the top and worked my way down, really. And did you recognise all of them? Recognise some. Mm. Didn't recognise all others, of them. Yeah. So, yeah. so again, this is uh, the uh, where the fraudsters sometimes um, can um, trick you by directing you to fake websites. And sometimes if a, even if a website comes up high in the search list, it doesn't yeah. necessarily mean it's genuine. Sometimes it can be cloned or fake. So you really need to yeah. look closely before you decide to buy on something. It always pays to just check the website you're buying on. Yeah. And what about if you're buying something off one of those listing websites? That's a good question. So um, it might be a genuine website, but the person who's selling through the website might not be um, who they say they are. So um, if they ask you to click on a link, for example, or um, make a payment in an unusual method, not using one of the, the traditional payment methods that you'd use in uh, those types of listing websites, um, then those are the sorts of warning signs which say to you, you know, think twice before you transfer any money to this person. Mm -hmm. So I guess ultimately it doesn't really matter how tech savvy you think you are, if you're sort of busy as most of us are these days, it's quite easy to get scammed. 
Yes, it is, I'm afraid. And uh, I think particularly if you're not particularly confident with um, buying online or banking online, stop and think before you actually click on a link or transfer that money or make the, make the uh, purchase. So, whether it be by phone, email, text or fake website, the key tip to remember in all these scenarios is my money, my info, I don't think so. It's a really good way of just remembering mm. to take five, take a step back and not to be pressured into doing anything.